All right, House of Pain Fan, Season 10, Episode 20, entitled Fine Wine, written by Lance, a.k.a. Calvin himself. I'm very conflicted on how to feel about the episode. On the one hand, it's one of the best episodes we've had since the show has come back for this reboot. I mean, the show's been back for almost 50 episodes, but this is one of the few that seems to have captured the spirit and essence and just the overall atmosphere of the original House of Pain series. So for that alone, I would give it a 10 out of 10. But on the other hand, I just feel so iffy about the episode because... All of a sudden, Calvin flips the switch to go back to the way he was in the old days. And I don't know how to feel about that. So, I will say, I will still give the episode a 9 out of 10. But I'll just deduct a point <laughs> due to how random it feels at times. But let me just say... It was enjoyable, even though I'm conflicted. So, before moving forward in the video, make sure you take a moment, hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video, of course. Hit the subscribe button as we move closer to 200,000 subscribers. Hit the bell icon and select all. That way you do not miss out whenever I post content on the channel. <sighs> and follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. I, I sigh just because, like I said, I'm just uh, conflicted on how to feel. But... The episode starts off with a Calvin intervention. Malik, CJ, and Uncle Curtis is back, y'all. Curtis is in the house. And they're basically telling Calvin their feelings about how it seems like he's rushing into marriage with Laura. And if he should reevaluate the situation, CJ brings up the point are you marrying Laura just to kind of move on or get rid of Miranda? Or are you really in love with her? I mean, maybe you should sow your wild oats, enjoy being single while you still can. And I mean, it's brought up that he has an OnlyFans uh, subscription. And I, <sighs> Malik goes on a funny rant, you know, like, how would Pookie and Peanut feel if they saw you acting the way you are now? My problem is this. Not only do these episodes feel incredibly aired out of order, which I do believe has been confirmed that is the case, which would explain a lot. This episode does not belong after a string of episodes where you see the bond between Laura and Calvin growing as well as his um, unstable but getting better co-parenting relationship with Miranda. And now all of a sudden, Calvin's a dog. The way that the guys were pretty much egging Calvin on to go back to how he was before, it doesn't make sense to me. It's like the equivalent of somebody you know who was a struggling alcoholic or maybe a drug addict or whatever. This person does the work. They go through, you know, the rehab or the counseling meetings. They do what they need to do to get clean. But then, like, a few months after getting clean, this person has a group of friends. Hey, man, you're not as fun as you used to be. Go back to how you were before. Have a joint. Have a beer. You see how ridiculous that sounds? That's really what I felt watching this scene. It's like you really want Calvin to regress. And I mean, look, marriage is no joke. But it's just the fact that Calvin feels like, you know, this is what I want for me. He, as far as we know, he hasn't knocked up Laura. They're not rushing a wedding because she has a baby on the way. He legitimately feels like she's the love of his life and he wants to spend the rest of his life with her. I don't understand why all of a sudden the guys are like, hey, you need to, you need to think about this. It just doesn't make sense to me. Him having an OnlyFans subscription I feel makes a little bit more, I could understand that more than him having an online dating profile, hence why several episodes ago when Miranda was trying to 
get people to hit her up on her account. That's why she pinged and so did Calvin. It's like, wait, what? It, I just don't buy it, guys. It just feels like we're really forcing the whole, yeah, we're going to have to screw up the Calvin and Laura relationship as much as we can. So there you go. Now we go over to the loft. Oh, yeah. Also, this fool Malik slapped Calvin in the face. And then before leaving, Calvin slapped him back. I laughed. That was hilarious. So he goes to the loft, meets with Victoria, who's a realtor. But before she comes over, um, when he comes to the loft, you know, he sees a bunch of wedding planning and posters everywhere that lore is laid out because apparently she's in a, I think Ella said Birmingham looking at wedding um, dresses and whatnot. So Calvin has to place to himself for a little bit. Victoria comes over, who's the realtor. Um, and to be blunt, th this is why the episode felt good because it flowed pretty well. Like you, what you see is what you get. I mean, I barely had to take notes. Um, Calvin just can't contain himself by how uh, attractive she is, and she really is. And next thing you know, <laughs> um, because remember, I believe he's trying to get a house with Laura, hence why he's selling the loft. But basically, they arrange for a quote-unquote dinner date at 7.30 to drink the bottle of wine that she gave him, which is her favorite wine, and... He rushes over to his parents' house to raid their kitchen. But before we see Calvin over there, Ella comes back from grocery shopping, tells Curtis about how Laura was talking her ear off about her ridiculous wedding plans. And I got a bad feeling. It's like the girl is already rushing to get her wedding dress. Now, I'm not an expert in this, but I will say this. From my time in high school and then college and seeing people I know um, get in relationships and get engaged and whatnot, I've seen women who have gotten engaged and they find their dress within the first week and they don't get married for months. So I don't honestly see how it's odd that Laura looking for a wedding dress is odd. I mean, I'm pretty sure a decent amount of time has passed from when Calvin allegedly proposed, well, in the season nine finale, he told Miranda that he was going to propose to Laura. I'm guessing it didn't happen until either the gap between seasons nine and ten or, you know, it obviously happened off screen. But this just yet again goes back to how this episode feels like it should have happened earlier in the season. So Curtis is just worried about his food. Uh what was he trying to eat? Was it sea bass? And after that, you know, Calvin comes in, raids the kitchen and takes the sea bass and, uh, you know, just ups and leaves because Ella just says, Hey, you know what? I'm just happy that you're happy. You've been through a lot. It seems like, you know, you're doing good for yourself and you know, Calvin's happy. So he rushes off dinner with Victoria went great. And Curtis keeps blowing up his phone when they're about to get intimate because he wants to sea bass. And next thing you know, Curtis actually rolls up on them in the middle of their makeout session and he just gushes over how attractive Victoria is. It turns out she's 47 and you know about how, you know, Calvin, that generation, we know how to uh, set the mood, you know, Teddy P and all this other stuff. And, you know, Curtis just runs his mouth. But thankfully this runs off Victoria just in time because Laura actually shows up and Curtis like, Hey, thanks. Hey, I'm about to help you now. Thanks for fixing me dinner, son. So he takes the wine and leaves and Laura's like, hey, I'm back. I surprised you. I came back early. And I love you so much, Calvin. And then the episode ends with him feeling guilty. First of all, I don't think this is the last we've seen of Victoria. Secondly, this just feels wrong. Like, again, it was... Uh, that's the thing I feel weird about. This episode was so damn good. But on the other hand, it just makes no sense whatsoever. The Calvin of Season 9. And even the Calvin we've seen throughout all of season 10 so far. I don't believe that Calvin would be so quick to just hook up with another woman that fast. Seriously. I mean, didn't she even say at one point, I'm old enough to be your mother or something? I don't know if she said that, but apparently Victoria, she got divorced because her husband left her for a younger woman. And, you know, having somebody like Calvin come on to her was reassuring that she still has it. And, you know, that's all well and good, a cougar and everything, but Calvin? 
I just don't believe this is the same character we've seen since the show came back in 2019. That's why I'm very conflicted. Like, I'll give the episode a nine because I think it was well written. I think it was the acting was good, the pacing was good. I laughed a few times, but I just don't think this episode fits with the show as we've seen it so far. So, that's really all I have to say. And like I said, this was a straightforward episode. Usually, my reviews can sometimes be as long, if not longer, than the episode itself, but this was straightforward to the point. And I have to love it because of that. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Am I tripping? You know, am I just overthinking an enjoyable episode? Or do you agree with me that it's like, yeah, I feel like they're just ruining Calvin. Because this is the Calvin from like his college days. Or, I mean, hell, he did kind of cheat on Miranda with uh, Mercedes when they were married. So, but this was just another level. So I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe as I requested earlier. If you'd like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. But at the very least, I can't wait to hear your thoughts in the comment section below.